Hello and welcome to Güring TV. In today's episode of Chips and Tricks, we are taking a look at tapping. Basically, if you want to make a screw connection, you need a thread. Probably the simplest type of internal thread is the so-called through hole. And although you can quite easily make the through hole with a form B tab, you will often encounter problems here. The tab can break when the tool is unscrewed from the through thread. Today, I'll explain why this is the case, and of course, I'll tell you how you can avoid it. Left fluted tabs and straight fluted tabs with a spiral point are particularly well suited to creating through holes, as I already mentioned with form B. As you cut the thread, the chip pigtail is simply pushed out downwards. However, the tab still breaks when it is unscrewed. Why does this happen? The last turn was not completely cut out. If we change the direction of rotation of the tool and the last turn is not yet completely cut out, the tab can break. This is due to the so-called clearance angle. When the tool is unscrewed from the cut thread, this is a critical point as the chip is shared off by the web of the tab. The greater the clearance angle of the tool, the greater the risk that the chip will jam between the workpiece and the tool and the tool will break off. It is therefore important that the spiral point protrudes completely from the component. This means that the thread is completely cut before the direction of rotation for unscrewing changes. But beware when changing the direction of rotation, a large clearance angle can be unfavorable because the chip can get caught between the component and the tab. So my chip tip is it is better to have one thread turn extra than one too short. You can find the Form B through hole tab in our shop linked below. See you soon, yours Lara.